All right, Don and Gavin from Game of Stones joining us for a little after show. I'm Christo Doyle, executive producer of Gold Rush, and Joe is the executive producer of Game of Stones. We just saw a truly incredible episode. I think probably the uh, the biggest gem we've seen, right? Yeah, by far. By yeah, far. Absolutely. Biggest value. In this episode, you've got, you know, the wildlife of Tanzania. I've been there. It's it's a it's no joke. The lions, the elephants particularly can be dangerous. You know, how did you guys deal with that that factor? Well, I've been going to Africa for a long time. I mean, I remember when I was first time in Tanzania, I mean, four people had been picked off by lions that week alone. So it is dangerous. In this particular case, no lions, elephants. Running would be the worst possible thing to do in this situation. Elephant will easily outrun us. Hopefully it'll get bored and go away. Now, elephants being the nice animal and all, they will kill you in an instant. And who knew that uh, elephants like coffee? <laughs> That's coffee. She, oh, she ate great. the coffee, so... An elephant of uh, caffeine? That, uh, <laughs> that elephant's probably got a hell of a buzz right now. I'd never really known the value of tanzanite. Can you just delve into what this what this gem is all about? You know, Tanzanite is currently one of the world's most popular gemstones. You know, it's found in one place in the world, in one deposit in Tanzania. What makes it beautiful is its ability to look like very fine cashmere blue sapphires. The big problem is supply can never keep up with demand. And Don, tell me about this legend that, that sent you guys to Tanzania. When I got, you know, word that potentially the Nemanjak was real, I had to find out more. I had to see. And when I saw it, it was like seeing something that, was not supposed to exist in the world. How is it possible that, that a, a little boy could just kick over this gemstone? And when that Maasai tribesman was a little boy and he found the Nemanjak stone, he was just very lucky. I mean, it, I, he'd had it for a very long time. Back then, the, the gem was really new, so it was possible that he could have found that very close to the surface. Through the years, as Tanzanite got more and more famous, he probably knew he had something, but he didn't make much of it. We went, we bought it, and we got the world's finest Tanzanite. How often are you guys able to get involved in a, in a, in a sale or a buy um, where everybody can win? This kid can get what he wants. You guys can get what you want. I mean, it's a very, truly unique sort of a situation. situation. Yeah, it's a yeah. perfect situation. We're like angel investors. In this particular case, because we were present, he got a better price for his stone than he would have got at that auction either way. $250,000 US dollar. Like in building a Sabina Tano. $300,000. Talipa Lakinne. $410,000. We were there. We were fighting to the last dollar we had, which pushed up that price higher. So he got that extra amount of cash so he can buy the land that he needs. And we got the Mona Lisa of all Tanzanites. It was a really feel good experience. And, you know, when we showed him the, the finished gem, we was just blown away. It was, that was really special. We were really privileged, actually, as gem hunters, just to see and experience this gemstone. Not many guys in our profession get to do this. Once I heard, you know, they gave me the phone call, we got the gem. I was so excited. And then, yeah, my heart kind of dropped for a second because they then had to cut it. And just, I mean, you have a something that's worth almost a half million dollars in your hand. You could transform it and triple your money. Um, or you could have another incident yeah. like what we had in Brazil. And Gavin just, does have a little bit of a a track record here. Gavin, what, I mean, you know, would you have rather been in a different environment to cut this stone? You know, cutting the gym in Tanzania was, was tough, but, uh, you know, we had to do it there. Uh, that's what we had to achieve. And so you make it work. You know, a good tradesman makes it work. This is an old gem. It deserves the perfect cut. Something that will make everybody go, wow. Where's this thing going to go? What are you guys going to do with this, this record breaker? This is the kind of stone that as soon as it's sold, you might never see it again. I want it to be out on display for everybody to get a chance to see. And so one of the main museums in the world is going to get a chance to hold that stone for a year, and then it'll go up for auction to the highest bidder. Guys, it's always great to talk to you. Next week, we got what? Romania? Going to Romania. Going to Romania. Heartland of the Gypsy Mafia. It's going to be pretty good. Dracula, Romania. All of the above. All right, well, we'll be right here to talk about what really went down in Romania. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys.